Sniffer 430 is an advanced tracer gas water leak detector. This means it works using tracer gas to pinpoint the exact location of hidden water leaks. The tracer gas is a blend of 5% hydrogen and 95% nitrogen. This gas is non-toxic, non-flammable, and environmentally safe. Let's take a look at our recommendations for a basic tracer gas setup. Tracer gas can be found at your local gas supply store or welding supply store. When you are doing an online search or speaking to a store manager, ask specifically for a 5% hydrogen and 95% nitrogen gas cylinder. Don't ask for tracer gas, because other industries may also use this name for other gas blends. Sniffer 430 has a state-of-the-art hydrogen sensor that is extremely sensitive. This allows you to pick up readings of even very small amounts of tracer gas. But it is important to get the right blend of tracer gas. For example, a lower mix of hydrogen could decrease the accuracy of your detection, and a higher mix could overwhelm the sensor. We recommend getting a small knee-to-waist-high gas cylinder or around 80 cubic feet in volume. A cylinder this size can last for approximately 5 to 7 detections on a regular house. Prices will typically range around $100 for a refill of a gas cylinder this size. We recommend asking for an aluminum cylinder as it will be lighter and easier to carry around. Tracer gas tanks are available in different sizes, ranging from small disposable cylinders to large refillable tanks that can hold several hundred cubic feet of gas. The size of the tank and the gas required for a particular application will determine the usage rate. For instance, if the tracer gas is used to detect leaks in a large industrial system, a larger tank may be necessary to maintain the required gas pressure over a longer period. You will also need a gauge with a dual scale to measure the pressure in the gas cylinder and the pressure in the water line. You can set up different gas hoses based on how you want to connect to water lines. Here's one we set up to connect to a hose bib. At Jacobs MC, we do not supply the tracer gas gauges or fittings. This is equipment you will need to get from your local gas supplier and hardware store. The kit you decide to put together should be based on your specific use cases. Now let's explore how the process works. When you pressurize a water line with tracer gas, the gas will escape through the leak. The extremely small hydrogen molecules are smaller than the pores in the materials above the leak, so they easily penetrate through and make their way to the surface. Sniffer 430 will be able to easily locate the tracer gas even on leaks deep underground, under thick concrete slab, under tile, and in wall. Our customers have had successful detections at depths even greater than 10 feet. Start by identifying the water line that is suspected of leaking. Isolate the line by shutting off the water main. Connect your tracer gas cylinder to any point in the water line, ideally closer to where you suspect the leak to be. This can be a hose bib, a faucet, or any point you can create. You do not need to drain the water line before connecting the tracer gas. Slowly open the gas cylinder and check your gas gauge to see how much pressure is in the tank. This tells you how much gas is left. Then open the valve that attaches your gas line to the water line, and finally slowly release the tracer gas into the water line. You will see the pressure start to rise from zero. Do not just open your gas all the way because you can overpressurize the water line. Just slowly allow gas to fill the water line while not exceeding normal operating pressure levels of the water line. And that's it you're ready to start your detection. Take into consideration that a leaking pipe will constantly lose gas. If there is a big leak, the pressure will drop faster. This means that a lot of gas has already escaped through the leak. So if you have a big leak, here's a good tip. Once you have let out some gas, you can shut off your gas cylinder. The tracer gas will not just suddenly disappear, it will actually remain the ground and linger there for 10 to 20 minutes. So with a larger leak, you can search for the leak with your Sniffer 430 even after you shut off the gas. For small leaks, you may choose to continue releasing the gas to ensure more gas can penetrate the ground, which will make it easier to find the leak. You can see that even with a very small leak that's multiple feet away, Sniffer 430 will pick up on the gas and allow you to follow it until you pinpoint the leak. Tracer gas will work with any kind of piping as long as it is a closed system. However, mixing tracer gas with the air in a gas line will make it ineffective. Leak detection on water lines is the intended use case for tracer gas and Sniffer 430. Tracer gas can also be impractical to use on a water line with a very large diameter as you will need large quantities of gas. 
tracer gas is very simple to use, and an advanced water leak detector like Sniffer 430 takes virtually no technical understanding in order to operate. Once you've set up your tracer gas kit, the whole detection process is completely plug and play. For the fastest, most accurate, and easiest way to find water leaks, choose Sniffer 430.